Hey guys, how you doing today? It's a little bit noisy, so I hope you can hear me okay, but there's no way around it because I'm in Hollywood and the building that I wanted to show you today is Emerson College building, which is right behind me. This building is a campus for the Emerson College, which is headquartered in Boston, Massachusetts, and hosts about 200 students that come to Los Angeles to learn what Los Angeles is known for. You all know those disciplines, journalism, film, screenwriting, acting, all of that kind of deal. And uh, I believe they're right. There's no better place to learn this kind of stuff other than Los Angeles. So previously, Emerson College had a campus around Burbank area where they were leasing some space. But all in all, Emerson College has been around Los Angeles for quite a long time. They have been running internships here for about 30 years already. So it was a bad time for them to actually have a building on their own. And uh, in 2008, they purchased the land. And uh, around 2014, they finally finished the building which is one of the architectural landmarks right now. If you are driving down the Sunset Boulevard and uh, the location is actually on a Sunset and Gordon, which is in between of Western and Wine, you definitely have seen this building. You definitely have wondered what the hell is that. This building was designed by Tom Main and Morphosis Architects. And this is one of the most influential architectural firms in the history of Los Angeles. They were created in 1972, and Tom Main was actually one of the founders of, um, of SciArt, of the Institute of Architecture in downtown Los Angeles which is very popular and uh, it's an amazing institute. If you guys have never been to their lectures, I highly, highly recommend to make a trip. One of the other buildings that you probably know is the Caltrans building in downtown Los Angeles. That was designed by Morphosis Architects, uh, Korean American Museum in downtown LA as well. So there's quite a few buildings around Los Angeles that was designed by these architects. I was telling you guys about the building by itself. It's just over 100,000 square feet of space, mostly dorms for the students. We could host up to 200 students, even more. I think 217 is an exact number. It also has classes, labs, for the purposes that you would need when you're creating the movies or learning acting. So the building consists of two 10-story residential buildings. Mostly those are dorms some of the labs and just the classrooms for the students, but most of the dorms, it holds up to 217 students. Um, and uh, because it was over 75 feet, it was considered a high rise in Los Angeles. At the time when it was designed, Los Angeles still had the regulation that any high rise that would be built in our city needed to have flat roof. So the building does have a flat roof for the helicopter landing for the helicopter landing. Different sources claim different numbers, but apparently it cost Emerson College somewhere in a range of 85 to 110 million dollars to build this facility.
course, knowing the architects that build this building, you could see how innovative it is in its approach, in its design. So that's, that's the stamp of the Morphosis architects, of course. This building is very energy efficient as well. It has uh, solar panels on one of the roofs of one of the residential buildings. And uh, it is also very energy efficient as well. It is anticipated to receive gold LEED ranking. All in all, this campus feels more like a little town. And that's exactly how Emerson College saw that. So they achieved their mission. Now they have campus here in Los Angeles. And uh, it's very interesting because they have an elevator that takes you up to the last floor and you can see the Hollywood sign coming out and it's it, it's just amazing. I don't think you could get there nowadays because obviously it's closed to the public and with the COVID it's even harder to get anywhere. But elevator taking you up with a Hollywood sign on a background, does it get more Hollywood than that? Don't think so. So the college is closed, there's no students over here nowadays, hopefully they will be back in January. But luckily the restaurant downstairs is still open, so I might go check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, let me know what you think about it. Maybe I'll do some more of those, if you guys like it, only if you like it.